Okay, J just on this 33,085, they are part of the flow backlog or are they a separate backlog? Separate backlog. <laughs> they are part of the 94,000 asylum caseload. You're, you're keeping them all together in one flow backlog, even though this 33,000 actually, at the moment, we think can't apply, can't so apply for asylum. They are counted asylum. in our total caseload of work that is in our system. Right, so 94,000 is the current backlog. So it's the caseload. Case 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 the caseload. Okay, so that's different from the backlog because... It's not, it's not, it, I mean, these are the cases that we're working on, we're working through uh, at the moment. The backlog was... Uh, the backlog was uh, specific, so at the time of the change of the legislation, there were a number of outstanding cases. We committed to give an initial decision uh, on those, and with the exception of the small number, which I know the committee has uh, commented upon. Well, that's the legacy backlog. Yeah. Yeah, so, you, uh, so we put that to one side because you say you've completed that. I know there are some concerns that that isn't the case, but you say they've done that. Yeah. But you've still got a backlog of claims post June 2022. So that is now at 94,000. Is that what you're saying to me? That's the, the backlog the of asylum claims you are working through. The caseload is 94,062. 94,062. And that includes claims since the Illegal Migration Act. Right. So that's the total number now of who is in the backlog, but we recognise from... I'm sorry, you, you keep describing it as a backlog. But it's not a backlog. I'm sorry, I don't understand so why it, it's, it's not it's a backlog. It's the case... It's the case that, I mean, why is it not a backlog? Because you haven't dealt with them and people are waiting. Why is that not a backlog? Well, it's a queue. It's oh, it's a, a queue. Oh, no, the point is... Okay. No, no, the point is... The point is, you, you can apply... Uh, I mean, it, I think your use of the word backlog implies yeah. something that I disagree with, and that's why I, I, I highlight the point. There is a... There are a number of cases that we are, that we are working through. At any given time, a new... Someone who has arrived yeah. will be added to the to the to the to the caseload to the caseload. Yeah. By your definition, if someone arrived yesterday, yeah. that would be a backlog, yeah. and I I don't agree with that as a as a as a definition. So the phrase that that we use, and obviously the committee is at liberty to use whatever you know descriptor you wish to use. But that is our caseload that we are that we are working through. Right. So um, when do you think you'll get to the point where somebody arriving today? will have their claim dealt with within the six months that you used to do in the Home Office. You used to process claims within six months. So uh, this 94,062 Q backlog caseload, mm -hmm. when are you going to get to the point where you're dealing with things quickly and you're not, we're not going to have to talk about backlogs? Well, the, I mean, what we saw last year, because of uh, an increase in the number no, of people... we understand that. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I'm just conscious other people have got questions. I just want yeah. to know, have you got a date in your mind when you will have... It's, impossi no, it's, it, it's impossible to give, it's impossible to give okay. a complete uh, uh, date. Talking of Secretaries of State being accountable, perhaps you can clear up some of the creative use of language used by the Home Secretary in his appearance at yesterday's Home Affairs Select Committee. Apparently, we no longer have a backlog of asylum claims. It's just a queue. A queue of 94,000 applicants. Some queue, but definitely not a backlog, Madam Deputy Speaker. And the 33,000 asylum seekers who've gone missing apparently aren't missing but have simply disengaged. Does she recognise that her government has lost control of the asylum system and that smoke and mirrors can't hide the truth?